providing safe, affordable housing for West Virginians. It's our charge and our mission at the West Virginia Housing Development Fund. Housing is not just about bricks and mortar. To us, it's personal. What we do touches many lives and in many ways you wouldn't expect. To us, it's about a young couple's first home. It's about a senior in need of a safe and affordable apartment. It's an opportunity for those who never dreamt they'd own a home and a way for nonprofits to better serve others. It's hope for the neglected and addicted. It's emergency help for homeowners and an answer to urban blight. We're the fund for all of West Virginia. And behind each of our many helping programs, you'll find a story. The Low Income Assisted Mortgage Program helps Habitat for Humanity grow their capacity and create more housing opportunities for more people. People like Teresa Mackey. It was a struggle for us to be able to keep up with not only the rent, but the utilities in the apartment that we were living in. Habitat for Humanity works to bring people out of bad housing situations into homes that are decent and affordable. West Virginia Housing Development Fund has helped me and other homeowners like me become homeowners by partnering with Habitat for Humanity. The Fund's Low Income Assisted Mortgage Program, or LAMP, has helped us uh, by buying 25 or 30 of our mortgages here in this area. We are able to build more homes per year because we recoup our investment more quickly rather than waiting for homeowner payments to come in over 20 years. We're both here to help West Virginians find safe, decent, affordable housing. The Fund's homeownership program has helped thousands of West Virginians become homeowners and works hand in hand with the Fund's down payment and closing cost assistance program, removing barriers to homeownership for first time buyers like Britt and Eamon. We had been renting and we reviewed our finances and realized that it was cheaper to buy a home than to keep spending money on a place that we didn't even own. Since Britt and I both work, I thought we might make too much to qualify for a fund loan, but I found out that they offer loans for all sorts of different income levels. Our local bank seemed to be really familiar with the West Virginia Housing Development Fund. The fund made it easy, especially with the down payment and closing cost assistance. We didn't have to spend our savings on the down payment or the closing costs thanks to the fund. If I were going to give any advice to other millennials, I would tell them not to assume they can't afford a home because the fund has so many different loan options. The Masons needed a larger home for their growing family. Attorney Keith Cox thought his income was too high for a fund loan. Both found a solution by combining the fund's moving up loan with a down payment and closing cost assistance loan. The fund helped us move up to a larger home. Everybody has a bedroom of their own. We have two bathrooms and my wife and I have a master bedroom to ourselves. When we sold our old house, we had very little equity in it and we needed help with a down payment and closing costs. West Virginia Housing Development Fund helped us with the closing cost and the down payment. I was a little bit concerned when I first started looking at the West Virginia Housing Development Fund because I was thinking this is going to be a program that is probably for people who make a lot less money than I do and for people who are wanting a much less house than I'm wanting. The fund loaned me the money for both the down payment and closing cost. This program allowed me to basically finance the entire cost of a house. I know that the fund makes loans directly to consumers, but I chose to go through a bank. When you go to the fund's website, it directs you to a few banks that will help you with the process. I'm glad to have finally moved up to a home of my own. The Special Assistance Loan Program makes loans to organizations that help the homeless, victims of domestic violence, abused children, the elderly, those recovering from addiction, disabled veterans, and families. Golden Girl Group Home is a home for sexually abused and neglected girls ages 12 through 18, and we have helped hundreds of girls overcome sexual abuse and neglect. The West Virginia Housing Development Fund has provided us with conventional loans at low interest rates. The West Virginia Housing Development Fund should be so proud because their funds are truly making a difference in the vulnerable, abused lives of our girls. Recovery Point is a long-term residential recovery center for men and women. What brought me was just being broken, living to use and using to live. It's essential for them to have a residential facility where they have a supportive setting and they can learn how to cope without the presence of alcohol or drugs. The fund loaned $125,000 to Recovery Point for our 501 Stockton Street location. 
A residential program is more efficient. You get them through the recovery process and you continue to support them, then they begin putting back into the tax system. We see a 90% reduction in reliance on social assistance. That's a huge savings to taxpayers. I could not have the life I have today if it wasn't for the long-term treatment program that I completed. The Low Income Housing Tax Credit Program provides tax credits to developers who create affordable rental housing. The program serves seniors, the handicapped, and low-income working people like first responders, teachers, and nurses. All 35 of our affordable housing communities in the state of West Virginia have been financed through the West Virginia Housing Development Fund. You see a lot of different reactions when you come into one of our properties. I've lived here just a little over a year. Very happy with it. You know that they have a, a safe, decent place to live. And you walk the halls and they're having Bible study or a Tupperware party or doing a puzzle together in the community space. It's very rewarding. I love everything about my apartment. <laughs> Before Pringle House, I lived in an old cold house. Then I saw this being built, so I started inquiring about it, and I'm glad I did. <laughs> During site selection, we take into account the local amenities for the residents, whether it's grocery store, pharmacy, churches, schools, etc. The grocery store is just right across the street, and I use it as my pantry almost. I love the balcony. I will go out there and read or just sit in the sun and take in the view. Without an allocation of low-income housing tax credits from the West Virginia Housing Development Fund, a community like Pringle House would not be financially feasible. I think it's a good thing that the fund helps with projects like Pringle House. I'm very happy that the fund helps people like me to find safe and affordable housing. I think the fund is doing good things for the seniors. West Virginia's rural nature sometimes means a lack of public infrastructure. On-site system loans help eligible households repair or replace septic systems or connect to public treatment systems. The on-site system loan program is a cooperative arrangement between the West Virginia Housing Development Fund and the West Virginia DEP to help repair or replace failing septics in the state. My home is um, far enough outside of Shepherdstown that we're not connected to city sewer. We're not connected to uh, the town in any way. I think it was a Friday. I look out my window and there's this huge hole. You got this sewage in your backyard, it's disgusting. And uh, you don't know how it's gonna affect your environment around your house. And I wanted to get it done right away. Without the fund, there would be nothing to help these folks. The fact that the fund was there and was able to help out was uh, just a blessing. This program is not costing the taxpayer anything. It is self-sustaining. I do feel very comfortable with my kids playing out here now. I'm, I'm thrilled with the job that was done. The West Virginia Housing Development Fund and the DEP believe that this program is helping to protect our groundwaters and our surface waters. The partnership between the DEP and the fund is, is uh, working for me. I can guarantee you that. You can drive through any town or city in West Virginia and see too many abandoned, dangerous, dilapidated buildings. They're a magnet for crime and drug use and bring down property values, discouraging investment in our communities. The fund is helping local municipalities demolish these structures and reclaim local neighborhoods. Derelict properties in our communities discourage investment in those communities. They also invite vagrants and drug activity. So by clearing these properties from our community, we're creating opportunities for private investment to build stronger and more healthy neighborhoods. The cost to demolish a derelict property is about $7,500, and that cost can go up if there are environmental issues with the property. Thus far, the city of Parkersburg has received two loans from the Property Rescue Initiative, and that has allowed us to demolish more than 12 properties in the community. When the city initially applied, we did not meet the fund's guidelines. Instead of telling us no, they've helped us find a way to yes. By demolishing these vacant and dilapidated properties, we are creating development opportunities, especially in our low-income neighborhoods. In our public meetings, we've had people come up to us and tell us how grateful they are. Many of the property owners have reached out to us and told us that those properties have been an issue and an eyesore in their neighborhoods for years. The Property Rescue Initiative has encouraged private property owners to police their own properties, and in doing so, several have been demolished voluntarily. It's been a pleasure working with the fund because we wouldn't be able to tackle these challenges without those resources being made available to us. Rhonda Huffman received a home program loan from the fund 
through a local community housing development organization. 15% of all home program grant funds are allocated to these dedicated organizations that help those who need it most. I have worked hard all of my life and could never get enough money for a down payment. I'm retired and on Social Security, and the fund helped me get my loan. The people at the fund helped me throughout the whole process. They helped me with a down payment. They helped me with closing costs. They took care of everything. After all these years, I'm finally a homeowner. When my grandson came here for the first time, he said, Nana, this is home. I feel like I'm home. And spending the week with me, and we're going to go fishing. There's a little pond just over here, and we're going to have a great time. Without the fund, I would still be renting and struggling day to day trying to figure out what I'm going to do and how I'm going to make it. And now I have a home of my own. I have extra money now from the money I save on my mortgage, and the money is going to good things. Fish and pools. <laughs> the fund has made my dream come true. The West Virginia Housing Development Fund truly is the fund for all of West Virginia, helping so many in so many ways. We're grateful to all those who have helped us tell the fund's story. And we look forward to the next chapter in our mission to improve the lives of our citizens and the future of this beautiful place we all call home. The West Virginia Housing Development Fund has made a huge difference in the lives of our girls. The West Virginia Housing Development Fund has been a great partner for Habitat. West Virginia Housing Development Fund has helped me and other homeowners like me. The West Virginia Housing Development Fund was by far our best option. We work in a lot of states through the country and they are second to none. It's been a pleasure working with the fund because they helped us find a way to yes. It's the fund for all of West Virginia.